So for the board's uh, water cooling inlet and outlet, uh, we have um, two points uh, determined uh, in the molding of the board where these are located and um, we then drill them and tap the threads uh, threads into the uh, five mm wall. And what we use here, I think this is uh, obviously quite a universal uh, item. This is just a gardenia fitting uh, that they use on most uh, sprinkling systems. And um, the reason I chose this obviously is number one is that uh, it's very available. Um, but the other thing I like about it is that it's plastic so that it's not gonna corrode at all. Um, the other thing is it's threaded as well as it's a it's a good limiter It's got a nice uh, pickup angle here and uh, naturally molded into it and at the bottom of the outlet side It's got about a, um, a three mil hole Now previously I've gone for big pickups and what I found is all I've really done is make a rod for my own back Because when we're surfing in the surf with small granules of sand and stone and shell etc the bigger your pickup is, the greater the chance you have of picking up debris, uh, which is going to inevitably get stuck in the, either the uh, ESC water cooling uh, jacket or it's going to build up in your motor jacket. So the first place you want any debris to get caught so that you can flush it out quite easily simply by blowing back through the system would be uh, in your pickup. So um, that's one of the reasons I've chosen to go with this particular pickup because uh, uh, I don't think too much debris that's going to be uh, affecting the ESC water cooling jacket or the motor is going to get past uh, this uh, this pickup here. I've used these for a while now uh, with absolutely no issues and with a good cooling effect. What I do when I screw this in from the inside is put a little uh, o-ring, this little o-ring over here goes around uh, the shaft so when I screw it down on the opposite side I've also got a, uh, an extra safety uh, on the seal uh, by this little o-ring uh, being uh, squashed yeah. up. A good quality um, onboard ESC electronic speed controller uh, has a few functions. Uh, one of the function is is to shut the power uh, down uh, to fifty percent or less uh, when the motor overheats. Um, so yeah, for 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 RC surfing, uh, it's possibly fair to say that it's inevitable that there will be times when your motor will overheat due to debris uh, being stuck in the water cooling system, and there's just uh, uh, I'm of the opinion that the easier it is to clear that system, the better. So if you ever do have uh, debris getting stuck in this pickup, uh, your ESC will shut the motor down, uh, power to half, you'll bring your board in and basically all you're going to have to do is to reverse blow uh, on the system. Uh, you'll blow from the outlet side through to the inlet side, either by mouth, you can just blow through the system or you can take a little uh, uh, pump bottle or syringe and blow it back and uh, the debris will pop out here if it's stuck at this um, neck over here but if you do have debris that's stuck in your motor or in your ESC it becomes more of an issue to clear it so that's why I've chosen to uh, have this um, little pickup as possibly the first uh, uh, port of call when it comes to blocking uh, debris that could block up the rest of the system. So there we have the uh, pickups uh, installed you see that one's facing forward this one's facing aft so it's basically an inlet and an outlet the outlet obviously helps with the venturi effect and the nipples are placed uh, in a position where for most of it uh, we have water flow over them it's kind of always going to be uh, in in the water as such and um, yeah it's basically the forward motion of the board uh, that drives the water through it and then as i say a slight venturi effect with the drawing out there um, you can see it's not too close to the rail we're kind of halfway here um, the pickups are relatively well protected uh, by the pod and by the rail here um, but again if ever this nipple gets damaged uh, it's a very quick change out it's an inexpensive change out um, i think you can buy uh, five of these uh, uh, little pickups for uh, uh, less than a dollar eh? so uh, again we've kind of just tried to scratch our heads and, and think what components could be would be vulnerable and uh, for the sake of the end user made them uh, very inexpensive and available um, on the inside yeah you can see they're not uh, actually anywhere in the housing area over here so they're totally out the way for when you're placing batteries etc they're tucked just behind the housing wall over there and it's quite an easy little process to get them in i've got a little trick uh, which i'll share uh, in the manual and then uh, basically our silicon pipe goes over that uh, secured onto the zip tie and off it goes to feed the ESC the motor and out on the other side 